in this video we are going to create the speedometer for the employee engagement related information that is uh, the rating performance rating and five matrix are there um, for that we are going to prepare the donut chart and we are calling it as donut uh, speedometer because only uh, semicircle will be shown in the chart remaining half circle we are going to hide it so let's see how to create that so i have uh, created a separate uh, sheet here showing the five different uh, matrix hr matrix of the employee so each rating will be out of five so total rating will be out always five actual rating that we have to take it from the list box in previous video list box i didn't add these five uh, matrices so i have added it here using the same index function so that i can get performance related information ratings in this uh, same list box uh, same uh, index box only. so these things i have added you can add it using the index function so performance rating i will take it from here so that it will be dynamic as <coughs> excuse me as the information changes as the employee number changes here so this is again four okay. yeah now it is three so in speedometer also it will become three so then percentage we have to calculate for uh, our uh, speedometer calculation that is three divided by five don't convert it into percentage symbol here you just multiply it by 100 so actual divided by total into 100 so don't convert it into percentage symbol let it be in number format only so this is the first requirement then total area uh, sorry, ranked area we want as I told uh, uh, this is about the semicircle so entire circle is 360 degree so only semicircle we are showing so ranked circle area will be only 180 degrees hidden area that is remaining area we, i am calling it as hidden area that will be 180 degree so this is same for all the other four criteria uh, matrices now the other uh, one more thing we want so this is about the rating this is about the semicircle now the pointer the pointer should move as it changes to three to four when the rating changes the pointer sh should also change so for that we need the rank ranked area so here the ranked area means or we can say the actual area whatever the name will not come anywhere in the chart so as per your convenience you can type so this one will be 60 this pointer we are giving out of 360 degree we are giving two degree for the pointer so pointer diameter uh, width we can say that is two then again remaining we have to hide it in an area that is out of 180 60 is the actual area two is the pointer area so remaining 118 degree we have to hide so these things you may not be understanding for a time being because uh, uh, these are three things requirements for the donut chart. So we are preparing two donut charts here. One donut chart for the for showing the scale five one to five scaling. No, that one for for that we are showing one uh, donut chart. For pointer we are showing another donut chart. So this is what we are going to do. <coughs> we are going to prepare now so first we will go with the ranked area donut chart so i will insert donut chart i will select this area i will insert in this donut chart you can see so 180 degree is in ranked area hidden area so hidden area any one area you can change it so first i will remove the title title is not required the legends are not required okay so now you can see the background so i will go to format shape outline no shape fill no again you click on these two again shape um, shape outline no okay remember because later you can't change the remove the shape outline because there will be another overlapping donut chart it will be difficult so first you have to remove the shape fill 
shape outline of the chart as well as the circle okay now in this one of the circle we are not going to use that is a uh, either blue or orange it's your choice so i'm going to select the orange one and i will remove the shape fill okay so i will click on this again i will click on this only so twice you have to uh, click on that particular area so that to uh, select that then remove the color so shape fill okay now this is at the uh, this is not a, we have to rotate them so in order to rotate them we will open data point so right click on that blue color area we will get format data point in format data point there is one angle of first slice is there you click on that you can see if you increase the degree it will rotate so i, I am guessing around 267 degrees it will rotate but i will make it 269 yeah 269 degrees you can see the uh, rotation is perfect so this is what our speedometer look like okay you can imagine the two wheeler speedometer similar image you are going to create now now the coloring code coloring means again <coughs> only for this one not for the lower part only for the upper circle part we are going to color them so normally when you go going to do the rating and all we are going with the gradient fill so gradient fill by default it will be in different colors uh, when you click on instead of solid fill gradient fill it will be in blue colors and all you will be having i think uh, yeah four different color palettes so you just remove them once yeah the imagination uh, the scene is like left side will be reddish when it moves towards the right it will become greenish so left part will be reddish one this one will be greenish i will change go to more colors and i will select the relevant green yeah this is better yeah, this is the greenish part this is the reddish part okay in between if you get two three uh, rating and all in between normally when red turns into green it turn in in between it will turns into yellow so that we are going to add so but when you add yellow you can see there is a you can't highlight this reddish part more so i will click here to clearly see here i will click on most pointer here you'll get one more palette again one more pointer here one more palette you will get so we can see so re relevant uh, palettes we are getting here then i will move a little bit at the middle so that red becomes green and uh, yeah so bring these two bars here So this is how our speedometer background looks like so okay so i will place it mm, yeah, first i will reduce the size no, wait keep it like this so make sure that there is no outline again you cross check click on that circle shape outline no click on this border shape outline no shape fill also no so the, because later one one more donut chart we are going to uh, put it over this donut chart so we can't change the shape outline it will be difficult so now so this this is first donut chart now the second one again don't select these areas okay you select only these three go to insert so this one is for the pointer okay so again i will follow the same things um format shape fill nil shape outline nil chart title i don't want delete then legends i don't want okay now you can see that i have to they are similar width okay now i have kept it here then right click format data series you can see the rating is three three means it should come at the middle this orange color is actually the rating we have to concentrate only on pointer so you first go to uh, angle of a slice rotate until it reaches the middle one that is i think probably 240 something or okay so 239 240 will keep yeah so this is your donut chart so point will be normally of uh, 
higher uh, the le- length will be higher more so so we'll reduce this donut hole size now this is okay so we are consider- concerning only about the pointer not this blue area not this gray area so we'll remove the gray area shape shape fill zero that means no color shape outline also no then same thing for this blue color shape outline is no shape fill is no then remains this pointer pointer again shape outline is not right now shape fill for a time being i will keep shape fill i will just for our reference i will keep it blue okay now this is our pyramid okay now we have to group them if i move this then it will move only one pointer uh, donut will move so another donut will not move so what we have to do is first we will click on this we will get the circle click on shape outline give some color just for the reference okay uh not yeah then again uh, click on this border then again shape outline now you got this second donut chart background you got reduce it select the first one format shape outline you got now make sure that the second one border is not overlap so you can see here so second one is at the mid uh, center first one is at the outer layer so that we can select them if it is of same size we can't select both the ch- uh, donut charts okay so you keep this this is like a guide this circle outline i have told you people to put because uh, again it will act so that we can position them properly in the first donut chart since we are moving here and there so it will be difficult to rearrange them so better you have outline first now go to shape format yeah select the first one go to format shape outline nil uh, then select the border shape outline nil then select this say first cha- this one shape outline nil now this is there this is there. correct then select both using control button option so i will i'm clicking on this one first then here you can see earlier it was there here only so i will click here then you will get the first donut chart get selected so i am using the control button to select them then go to shape format group group them now they are in one shape so i can move them easily so this is very very important so next i will using the control shift button i am moving my mouse uh, uh, mouse cursor upwards so it is getting small so they are reducing the size proportionately it will reduce so that is the one of the way in excel or in word also for when it comes to shapes and all you use control shift button and you move the cursor holding the left click okay so now it is proper so sim- this is our one speedometer for performance rate so same thing we have to repeat it for other four so what we will do is select this control c control v control v so this one also this chart will not get selected so control c v manually we have to do control v control v control v okay so this is our active cell means which is linked to our data so this one i will change the color code so just for the reference these are static fixed okay so these are also static fixed this is very dynamic because this is linked to previous one same thing we have to link job involvement to previous box job involvement that is e17 enter job level 18 E19 work like this 
now you can see the charts are not responding even though values change the charts are not at linked to that sheet so what we have to do here first i will zoom in okay so first i will just for movement purpose we have grouped them so i will i have to ungroup them group right click on that you will get group option ungroup so you can see the two windows to so click on the outer layer you have to be careful here when you are whenever you select that yeah better we move it other way so that it will not get overlap Slightly lower so that I can select this chart. Okay, yeah, now this got selected. This is proper. Okay, one second. This only this one has to be moved. Okay. Let's not ungroup them again. Going back to this. Yeah. Okay, Control Z. Control. I will undo that because only the pointer scale we have to change. So that should be linked to this data. So what I will do is click on filter, select data. It is showing speedometer C11 to C13. Uh, C I will make it this one. Okay. Okay. Oh. Now it is linked. So again I will show. See, after making necessary changes here, linking it to previous data, you go to speedometer, click on this. top layer so this got selected the upper one then you will get filter option here select data by default since we have copied the first one it's showing c cell only so we for third one we that is g cell right to so select this and same thing again i am doing for the fourth one select the top one filter select data by default it is c now it is i same thing for the last one select the top layer filter select data it to 98 and so now you can see all five speedometers are working you can see 3 means 3 here 2 means slightly le left side 4 means that in right side again 4 yeah now you can see the the positions are proper if you want you can add one more shape in between to add like just to create the speedometer that is not relevant that so is left to you further changes you can do as per your the designing thing it's left to you so this is the basic thing how to create speedometer so ranked area so this is for donut chart 1 and right dn1 so this is for the donut chart 2 okay so this one is fixed this is related to this one okay so whatever you are typing uh, in this one no that should be linked to this cell okay so whatever you are typing here so that is linked to here that's what i have shown c equal to e6 if i click here that cell will come so this is static that is maximum rating is always 5 so this is dynamic this one is formula again this one is formula so this is not static this is also dynamic is also dynamic because it depends on this answer yeah then pointer will be two only this is also dynamic because as your uh, rating changes the degree changes it become 40 degree it will become 138 like that. Yeah. so these are the four uh, five speedometers in next video we are going to put all these graphs and values in dashboard